What's up everybody, how's it going out there? So this is my computer in my uh, shop. And this is primarily my jukebox. This is my entertainment system during the time that I'm working. And I've got a problem. I have a problem. And um, let me bring this down so you can kind of see what's going on here. When I turn this guy on, you might experience the same thing. So I'm going to tell you how you go about doing it. Well, see, I just tried turning it on and nothing. Oh, here we go. You might end up with the same problem, okay? This thing will boot up and it's gonna end up, it constantly says this, and it's like, well, you need to press F2 to boot normally or do whatever to BIOS or whatever. And then sometimes what will happen, right here, run setup or do the default, and every time it does this, okay? So I hit F2, and usually this will look like Windows is getting ready to start, then it just shuts down, okay? That's the first symptom. Right there, it usually shuts down. Okay, this time it's not. It looks like I got lucky, okay? But it usually shuts down. The second thing that happens is if you go onto certain websites like uh, YouTube or something, sometimes the video will just stop playing. Um, or it'll say uh, something like the, the certificate for this, um, this, this uh, web page has expired or is not valid and you can't use it right so you're sitting there like what the hell what the hell's going on okay and I'm gonna explain what's going on because there's another dead there's another dead sign this is the password by the way if you want to get into my shop computer head and hips that's Luna <clears throat> FX Luna says now you know my password and that's FX again but <clears throat> There's another dead sign of what is going on here, and that's down here at the bottom where the clock is. This is saying that it's 12.30 p.m., and it's saying that this it's the 12th, okay? Hmm, something's not right with that, okay? And so this clock needs to be reset a lot. So if it's showing up on your, your screen where it's it, like you go to websites and it keeps telling you this certificate is bad, this certificate is bad, blah, 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 check your internet time. Okay, check your internet time because if it's the wrong date, okay, you're not going to be able to view certain web pages down here. Okay, and also you might not even be able to get a Windows update. It might say that there's a problem with it, it can't install it. There's all sorts of problems, and it all has to do with this internet time, this, this time down here. If you have to keep resetting it, chances are it's not a software problem. Chances are it's the battery that is inside your computer that needs to be replaced because there's a watch battery inside there that basically maintains the clock and other things um, inside here and this is one of the reasons why it keeps it keeps happening so we're going to replace this battery we're going to cruise down here let's go ahead and turn this off now about eight years ago this was a gaming computer and a recording computer I was using this um, to uh, basically do my recording from my DAW software and stuff. Um, but time goes by. Um, there's upgrades and things. Certain software wasn't working with it, etc. So now this is just an entertainment computer. Okay, right there. We have a watch battery. This watch battery is very old. This needs to be replaced. This is the reason why I'm getting certificate errors. This is the reason why um, I'm having to reset the clock all the time. This is the reason why it keeps asking me every time I turn the computer on if, um, let me see, I can probably get this right here. Every time I turn it on, it's asking me, hey, uh, do you want this thing to, you know, go to run setup or just low default values? It's because of this right here. And if you look at these batteries, just like all watch batteries, it's, you know, it's got a number. And this particular one says CR2032. So right here I have a CR2032. 
and this one came out of another computer that I have upstairs that I no longer um, use. It was also another gaming computer, um, but this battery is probably still good. So pop that guy inside there and let's see if this ends up repairing the situation. Now I'll probably have to do one more you know F2 to do the run the setups and everything like that but then afterwards I shouldn't have this problem anymore my uh, this certificate thing is no longer valid should go away on YouTube um, as well as I shouldn't have to adjust the time see I didn't even have to hit the F2 right so that so far so good we'll do an internet time change just to make sure so time is good that should fix everything that should fix everything but if you're having that certificate error check your internet time if you're having problems booting up check that damn battery um, because that battery actually takes care of a lot of stuff but nobody ever bothers replacing it you know it's almost like they're completely unaware that there's a battery in their computer but this is this battery that was inside here this is probably like from Oh, geez, 2004, 2005 maybe. So I mean, it's a really old battery, um, and they go bad. You have to replace them. You know, the one that's inside here is about six years old, right? So that one is going to end up having to be replaced um, soon anyway. But I'm going to go out and buy a couple of these um, next time I remember it, just so that way in the future when this happens. I'm good to go, but I shouldn't have any more problems with this computer. So <clears throat> that's just something to kind of keep your keep in keep in mind if you're having computer problems and you don't understand why with the certificate error, check your time. And if your time keeps getting wrong every time you you know going to a different thing, every time you turn it off, it's because of the battery. It's because of the battery. Anyway, guys, that's that. So till next time.